Hey everyone, it's Eric over here at Von Raps and Design in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Well, not so much Deerfield Beach right now. I am at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport heading out to Bangkok. But first, I have quite a few destinations. I have to go to Washington, uh, geez, Washington, then Washington to Tokyo, and then Tokyo to Bangkok. So I have quite a few things that I need to do. Uh, I just dropped everything on the floor, but it's okay because I am one of the only ones here at the moment. And I already talked with a few of the shops over in Tokyo and a few of the shops that are in Bangkok. I'm actually going to visit one of Vin's brothers. I don't know if blood brother or, you know, just homie. But he has Rap Society in Central Mall in Bangkok, one of the biggest malls in Bangkok. Um, so I'm going to be going over there, we're going to do a little shoot uh, for YouTube and we're going to show, you know, everyone in Thailand how we do it in America. So awesome. But they use a lot of um, Chinese brands over here, so they use a lot of Vivid. They use a lot of Vivid. Um, and a few other brands that I don't really know per se because they all come from China or they come from Japan because Japan makes material as well. Um, but I am going to be going to DG Raps in Tokyo. Uh, we talked on Instagram and we're going to be doing a YouTube shoot over there as well. I'm going to be helping them to wrap one of the cars, one of their clients. And there's also this other shop that does liquid wrap. And it's based in Japan. So that shop I'm going to be checking out. They have basically, it's like a clear shield, but it's sprayable and then you just peel it right off and it's very durable like they test like stabbing pens through it everything like that and it's super sick so I want to see what product that is and see if it's something that we might be able to offer to you guys over here in Florida so it's not just vacation it is also for business because I care about you guys so I want to see you know how they do it any differently than how we do it over here and maybe I might show them a few, you know, a thing or two on how we do it in America. So, especially since we like to use 3M and Avery the most, they don't really use that vinyl as much. So, I'm going to check it out. Hopefully have a good time. I am going to Fifi, which is going to be beautiful. So, I'm going to be recording on that island. But I'm also going to be recording my adventures throughout the city of Bangkok and the water market and the night market as well as the black market. So I'm going to be going through all three markets because, you know, food is delicious. And I'm going to be trying as much as I possibly could. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Right now, I'm still at the first airport. My flight is at 8.10 and it is 6 o'clock. So I have two hours of just sitting here. I'm probably going to watch some YouTube or Netflix. Uh, edit a few videos because I have had very little time to edit videos so I'm gonna probably edit a bunch of videos and you'll see just a ton pop up suddenly on our channel so I apologize for that but you know I have an hour and a half to DC 14 hours to Japan and then seven hours to Thailand so I have a ton of time to be able to work and edit videos while I'm on the flight so I'll keep you guys posted and the next time I update I should be in Washington DC waiting to get onto the plane for Tokyo all right later guys so now we're preparing for launch which is pretty cool I get to see if we catch fire first which is awesome Alright guys, so I am now on the brand new 777 plane. Uh, Boeing had just released one of these and we're taking it to Tokyo. So it's going to be about 12 to 14 hours of flight. It's a pretty big plane. And luckily I was able to find the TV screen in front of me. 
which was originally like stowed away. It was stowed away off to the side, so I couldn't find it, but I finally found it. But we should get there, it says around like 12 o'clock. We're leaving here at 12, so hopefully it only takes 12 hours to get over there. And then I have about three hours layover. And then from there, another seven hours to Thailand. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty hefty endurance run for me. Update, they have an Infinity War. So I am at the Tokyo airport and let's just say that it is probably the best airport that I've ever been to. I mean, the thing is freaking sick. The architecture is sick. Look at that. And it's practically like a giant mall. All of this is a giant mall with big stores. Look at all that. So they have food, they have stores, they have collectible toys and Gundams. I'm like super duper hype right now. And I've, I've just been exploring for a little bit. But there's this really good ramen place right up ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. So, this is it. This. Let me see if I can flip this around. I can't. Nope. But, this is it. So, I'm gonna have myself some uh, nice, lovely ramen right here. So now I'm on the shuttle bus in Tokyo. Did a little bit of a shopping, got to eat, everything like that. Um, we have to shuttle to a separate terminal which has the plane that's going to Bangkok because it's not on the big terminal. The big terminal is for a lot of the larger planes, like the, the new 777s, um, but it doesn't hold the planes that are a little bit, you know, more conservative on size. So we're going to the other terminal, which is just on the other side of this building. And we have to take this lovely bus to get over there. And then once we get onto that plane, it's another six hours to Thailand. And then once we're in Thailand, well, yeah, it should be it. So it's been a long trip. After many hours of exhaustion, I am finally in Thailand. And I am coming out. And I am looking for Emma. There she is. Look at her, she's recording me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> finally here. So, yeah, finally in Thailand, and we're gonna watch my lovely adventures and check out all of my buddy's shops. All right, so, you know, stay tuned. We're gonna try to make as many videos as we possibly could. Like, subscribe, share, whatever you guys normally do. All right, later.
this is Central Mall. And it also goes underground. Yeah, Central World. I'm sorry. I, when I got here, I realized that a majority of them are called Central, just like how a lot of hotels are Lowe's hotels. So this is a Marvel store. Disney, Star Wars. So, I mean, if you guys already follow me, I have this literally once a week, if not more, in Florida. So, I'm not exactly recording this part, but it is delicious. That's it. And it's at Central Mall. So, we're at Rap Society Central World. It is in the parking garage on the first floor and just like Vin of course there's a Porsche and we're gonna go inside and say hi So it's in an AC garage over here at Bangkok Central World. They're just finishing up this beautiful Mercedes. I think this one's next. So they do full disassembly. What color is this one? This one? Sunflower. Sunflower? Yeah. So this one is going 3M1080 Sunflower Yellow. And especially here in Bangkok, this is gonna last a very long time on the car. Easy to remove. All right, so we're over here at Rap Society in Bangkok. This is just one of their stores. They have another one 15 minutes away. They're just finishing up this car. Very beautiful. Um, and yes, they like to use 3M and Avery, same exact as us, uh, for the same exact reasons, heat and humidity. Uh, this is basically like the Florida of, Thai, of Asia, so this works very well with the temperatures, weather, anything like that. But they also do tech wrap over here, but that's more for the economical person or economical customers that can't afford the 3M and Avery. That lasts about five years. Tech wrap only lasts about one to two years. For the same exact reasons that we uh, don't really use it down in South Florida. It's not a bad company, it's just after about one to two years in the sun, very hard to take off and it will damage your paint. Whereas this will damage your paint. So for this car, they did all the door jams in and out. They did every single accent on the car, they brought it in on every curve. And they did every single piece separate, just like how we do it. So they did all the inserts as one piece, and then the front bumper for the whole piece. Everything comes off, the grill, headlights, taillights, mirrors, door handles, everything like that. We're just finishing up the grill on that end. Um, and then this other Mercedes over here, as I found out, they did uh, expel clear shield. And then for the cars that are out front, they have the Aston Martin wrapped in satin pearl white. Tech wrap gunmetal gray. These other two Mercedes, they're gonna be wrapped, um, I believe, this coming week because today is Sunday, so they're gonna be wrapping uh, Monday on one of them. They're just waiting on the material to come in. One of them is getting a uh, light pink by Tech Wrap, the other one is getting a 3M color. That's about it for this shop. We're just checking out their mall location. I mean, it's really convenient, you know, you come to the mall, shop around, you get a chrome delete, roof wrap, hood wrap, anything like that over here in Bangkok. Uh, and it is one of the biggest malls over here. So while you're out shopping, eating, having a good time, your car can get easily worked on over here. 
and it's a nice thing to take a look at, even if you're just touring the city. Just come over here and see some very fire cars that you don't normally see on the streets. So hopefully we get to see some of their work at some of the car shows around the city at night. Um, and we're going to be checking out the motor show a little bit later today. So, you know, appreciate for staying tuned. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more of the work that we're going to be showing around here in Bangkok. So we are at the 2018 Big Motor Sale over here in Thailand. That's where a majority of the companies are unveiling their newest vehicles for the Asian market. So we just happen to be here at the same time that they're throwing this event. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, so we're in the show and we are right now looking at Suzuki. They have quite a few interesting vehicles. I mean, you don't really see these in the States because obvious reasons, but they are very big over here and check out this one. You're going to see this one right here. That is a wrap. And it is a matte metallic. And of course you have to put a wing on it. So, weight reduction, aero, very affordable, I'm sure. So that's one of their cars that they have on display over here. And then we're gonna check, what is this, Hyundai. We're gonna check Hyundai next. Ooh, Honda has a fire display over here. Here we have a few of the performance cars. This is their performance section. And me being a BMW fan, look at that. Full carbon body panels. This is the one series of Asia. This is what replaced my car. They made it into a hatch. And it's super lightweight. It has that two series style front end. It has a wide body that they custom fabbed over here for the show. And this is an actual race car. This, they, they bring this out which I can appreciate. This GTR body for a track car. Now this is wrapped in my color. This is 3M 1080 Gloss Fierce Fuchsia on an Evo 8. It looks much brighter on the camera because of the lighting that's inside the show, but this is the same exact color that is on my lovely Stinger. Now, if you take a look over here, this is a Beamer. I believe this is a 5 Series. It's kind of hard for me to tell.
E34. And they have more down there. Mercedes is on display right over there. Now this is a Ford Ranger, four-wheel drive. So I'm very disappointed that Kia doesn't have the Stinger over here. They have a bunch of vans, but apparently not the Stinger, which is dumb. However, Aston Martin came in clutch. DB11 and V8 Vantage. And then Honda is packed over here. Apparently there's a lot of love for Honda on this side of the world. What a surprise! Um, ooh, Audi section looks fire. Let me show you some of these. And apparently MG is making a comeback in the Thai market. A lot of people have been getting these and they've been making them look like Mini Coopers. This truck is absolutely sick. It's wrapped and more than likely the material is tech wrap. Yeah. That's tech wrap. But it's on bags. ขอขอบคุณทุกท่านที่ได้เกียรติเยี่ยมชมบูธโตโยต้าในวันนี้แล้วพบกันใหม่ในรอบต่อไปขอบคุณครับ You don't get that with 3M materials at an affordable price. From a distance it does look beautiful. And that's a very sick hood. This is the new MG3 with a 1.5 liter four cylinder inside. This one is a model for the premium. Honestly, it looks sick. Now for the base model, US, you're looking at $15,000. If you want the premium, you're looking at about $25,000. The premium that they have over here is listed at $21,000. It's $20,995. 20, and it's basically going to be competing against Mini Cooper. It's competing with Toyota on this side of the market. Very clean car. And, and now, my favorite part of the show. BMW. This is the all new M5. Look at how lavish that is. And of course, everything over here is right-hand drive. I can't even get in. But you can see the interior. So 
740LE. Now these are the powerful cars. Not like the MG with its 112 horsepower and the sedan that had only 106. Very depressing. 258 horsepower at 5,000 to 6,500 RPM. 400 torque, that's a lot of torque. So it is an electric and gas powered car. What is this? This is a 1 Series. Let's find out. 118i. Twin power turbo, three cylinder petrol engine. That's interesting. 136 horsepower at 4,400 RPM, torque 220. Wow. Top speed 210. Yeah, right, you thought I was translating perfectly fine. Uh, no. Cheat sheet. And it's a hatch. Now, if anything, I would swap my N52 or N54 cough cough motor into this. They're really big on diesel and electric cars here. So they have a majority of those models that are like that. Look at how much engine room there is in here. So much potential. Look at that big single turbo right there. Perfect. That would be great. This one just has a twin scroll turbo in here. That's so, that's so easily accessible to just be rerouted to a big single over here, just like how Lang is doing and how my other buddy is doing with putting it through the hood. section Volkswagen, 
Especially the Toyota, they have that pickup truck that's over here. Honestly, it looks super attractive. Seventeen thousand dollars. The seventeen thousand US. Now, the horsepower on it is only one hundred and ten. It's a four cylinder, one hundred and ten horsepower, and the truck looks sick. I would honestly get that truck if I wanted to, but for the price of the truck and the horsepower that it gives you, not worth it. I mean, they look fast, they make it look very fast, they have carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber fenders, or caro seats, they have all these modifications to it, but the car is just not worth it, as I find. However, there are a ton, a ton of beautiful cars over here at the show, and honestly, it was a great experience to check out all the vehicles that are over here. Uh, some of the people over here, they just start talking to me automatically in Thai. Uh, they think that I live here, especially since, you know, Emma's walking with me, but luckily she's translating her for me. Um, we got to meet one of the Cosmos wheel reps over here. They had a little tent set up. Down below they have another section that's just for aftermarket shops. And they have a lot of shops for the Abarth, which is the luxury mini van that they have over here. Uh, they have aftermarket shops that are focused on working on the interior of the vehicle um, and as well as the exterior, diamond mats, speakers, uh, luxury leather seats for the vehicle, everything like that. But as far as I can say, honestly, amazing show. It was really cool to meet some of the people. They wanted me to go and take some of these cars out for a test drive. They thought that I was like some big shot just because I'm white and in Thailand. But, you know, I appreciate it. It was pretty cool. Now we're gonna go have some dinner downtown again at some of the local restaurants and I'll be able to update you guys with what we're doing tomorrow over at Rap Society at their second location. Okay, which way? Automotive Museum over here in Thailand with yours truly. And come on, smile. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So they have a bunch of all the old cars that they used to have over here in Thailand, as well as any cars that were imported, and a bunch of really wacky ones. So we're gonna uh, take a look at all of them, and I'll show you what exactly they have over here. Conference bike. Okay.
And they have a moke. They sell these up in uh, West Palm Beach, back in Florida. Now over here they mainly focus on smaller cars, smaller motors, because there's a lot, a lot of people. So not many of the vehicles that you see are large. If you had a large vehicle, it was more luxurious. So. course, DMC DeLorean, this one unfortunately does not have a flux capacitor. Now this guy is a very, very rich guy, so this museum is free over here in Thailand. And it's all his personal collection. He personally owns all these. The only rules are you can't touch the cars, you can't open up the doors, nothing like that. But you can look at them, admire them, take photos with them. These are all BMWs. They open up from the very front. You've got on the car. Over here. These are imported from the US. Nice and preserved. It's like a little bubble car. And that's about it for the museum. It's not as big, but it is a lot of fun. So you guys are more than welcome to come and check it out. Um, if anything else, I'm gonna be uploading some more uh, downtown. I'm uploading little sceneries uh, throughout Bangkok, everywhere that we're going, some of the restaurants, everything like that. So, you know, if you guys have any preferences, just let me know. Write it down in the comments and I'll try to get it on camera.